Hello and welcome to part two in our water series. In this episode, we'll be going through how to customize the water by looking at the waves asset as well as the material nodes that we can change and manipulate. So let's begin. So to customize the water, there's a few options where you can change things. Uh, so we're going to look at both of these two locations. Now, the first one is going to be the waves asset. So the waves asset is something you can make yourself or you can edit the existing one. But to make your own one, you just go to the water menu here and choose water waves. And we'll do this one as custom waves. And inside of this custom waves file here, we've got a demo of the waves system and what it's going to look like. Uh, but here we can decide on the right hand side what kind of look these waves are going to have. So at the moment they're using the Gerstner water wave generator, which is the standard one you have. Uh, but here you can add in number of waves, uh, what random seeds you have, and so on and so forth. So let's just demonstrate a few of these options. So this is going to be putting some more waves. It looks a bit more more varied. Um, but wavelength. So we can increase the waves here, make them larger. Or bring it right down and make them a lot shorter. And it looks a lot messier. Let's bring this back down. There you go. Uh, so that's the wavelength. The max wavelength, we'll bring that down as well. And see even more, obviously, what's going on here. And uh, let's reset those back. Then you've got amplitude. So if you want to make your waves taller, you can change the amplitude to do this. So min amplitude here is 4, maximum is 80. We can just increase this up a little bit. And our waves will go a little bit higher. Go a bit further. And we get a lot more turbulent waves doing their thing. Okay. And here we've got the fall off as well. We can change the amplitude. Get up and you can see that fall off happen a lot, lot shorter. Get up, you can see it gets a lot more spiky. So you can flatten it out using the fall off here as such. Um, next, we've got the wind and direction of the wind itself. So at the moment, when it's set to zero degrees, with angular spread of 13, uh, 1325 degrees, basically it just goes everywhere, um, which is pretty useful for like um, steady ocean. But if you're looking at more of like a shoreline, you're typically going to add some angle to that. So if I change this angular spread here down to something a lot, 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 lot shorter, so let's change it down to say, uh, let's go for about 45. Okay, and we can see here what's happening. Okay, you can see the waves are going in one particular direction. Now the angular spread can just change the variation that each wave does. So here they're going in one direction, but they are spreading out a little bit. The more I increase this, the more that spread is going to do. And obviously the wind angle is gonna change the angle that our waters could be going in. Pretty standard stuff. And finally, we've got the steepness of the waves themselves. Let's go back down to the, this view. You can mess about these numbers too to change what's going on. So we've got small waves, and that's how steep they are. And you've got large waves, and you can change how steep they are. Okay, and this will look, give you that this weird appearance of the, what the waves are doing. Most of the time we'll leave that as is. Okay, so there is our water settings here we can change. And you can also customize these per uh, water body too. So to actually apply this thing, uh, we're going to go to our water ocean here. And if you go and search for water, you'll see in here you've got the water object label somewhere. Where is it? Uh, oh, wrong one, sorry. Actor. No, sorry, no, water ocean. My oh, bad. Uh, there it is, water ocean. So here we've got the ocean version of waves. This is the default one you get in here. But you can just drag your own one onto it if you want to. You can sort of change this to use not an asset reference, but change it to be just a normal Gerson of water waves. And you get those same settings that we just saw here. So you can change the default number of waves and things like that per instance if we want to change it, customize it as we see fit. I'm just going to put that back as it was. Okay, the other thing we can change about uh, our water here is the material that is being used. So here is our ocean. Now if I go to the ocean material, 
Now it's going to not look much in the viewport here, but what we're going to do is look at it as we change it over here in our viewport, this, this side of things. Let's just ink, make this a bit bigger. And to increase that out here. Okay, so we've got loads of settings available to you on the default water ocean material. And a lot of these settings can be turned off and on and changed according as to your own needs. Now, not all of them will be applicable, uh, but let's show you a few options you can do here. So the obvious ones we've got down here are the colors and in case this case scattering. So you click on this and you can change this to a different color. Change the tint that the ocean gets and how it scatters the light through it. Um, change it back to white there. Uh, we could also change the absorption. Change how that looks. You got like more of an actual pink water. And then we've got a foam emissive as well, which we can click on and change that to be whatever we like. Now at the moment we don't have any foam on our ocean here, but we can change this to be something in a minute. So next we're going to go down to foam and we're going to find the foam sets here. So we've got enable ocean foam, we're going to tick that. And now you'll see the foam appears on the ocean. So at the moment it's not really animating much with it. It's pretty basic, uh, but we can change various things about this. So on the foam settings, you'll find loads of things to do with foam. So you can go foam attachment, and that will just attach the foam to the various waves. And we're gonna do foam macro scale. And here we can change macro scale to change the size of the foam that we see available to us. Now and make it much, much smaller. Obviously if it gets too small, you kind of see the tiling effect that goes on. Not great, um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's that. We can also change things like its height bias. So this changes when the foam should generate. So we've got 0.5, but if I increase this up, you can see now the foam is generating a lot much uh, more frequently, covering more of the surface. Obviously if you do this to one, most of the map is gonna be covered in this foam. Change that to two, pretty much all of it in foam. So we usually bring that down to something quite small. 0.5, get that foam layer going onto it. Um, next, we've got things like um, making it move with the water and with the waves. So let's go into the waves here and change that to be a lot more um, rough. So we're gonna go into our uh, ocean, go to our waters source, as I set, choose the ocean one. You can now see the foam is now animating with the waves. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to that material and have a look at some other settings we have in here. So this foam again, the best thing to do is just play about with it really yourself and you can see what kind of things you can do with it. So as you can see, there are tons of settings you can enable and change on these materials. Obviously we're not gonna go through all of them, but please do check them out and play about with them and see what changing numbers does to your fluids and your oceans. And there we have it, that's the end of part two. In the next episode in part three, we'll be taking a look at how to create ripples and waves with objects in physics. And if you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and catch all my videos early before anyone else. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.